To those that don't have a vision, it must seem that those with visions are like flagships from the Archons to follow. As such, I make sure to fly my flag with pride. That is my motivation. Nenguang, eh? As far as Liu Qixing is concerned, she seems to be doing a good job. But for me, my responsibility lies with my ship and my men, and not with Liu Qixing. Ningguang has never really one to speak frankly, but she has been very direct with her criticism of me in the past. <laughs> but hey, whether she likes me or hates me is her choice. Nothing I can do to sway her. <sighs> When we're out on the open ocean, the one thing we do all miss is Xiang Ling's cooking. When spirits are low, just thinking of her fried yuyun chili, bursting with flavor. It gives everyone just that little extra kick. Xiang Ling, huh? Well, she sometimes uses some... interesting ingredients in her dishes to bring about some, uh, intriguing flavors. Though, uh, there's no way she can improve without having someone to taste test. A role that I am more than happy to fill. You mean the gentleman from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor? My men sometimes speak of the rumors surrounding him. He sounds interesting. Yes. If I get the chance, I'd like to meet him someday. One year, on the eve of the Lantern Rite, we ran into a storm as we were returning to port. Try as we did, we only made it back to Liyue Harbor in the dead of night, long after the lanterns had all been released. As I looked towards Guyun Stone Forest, I saw an Adeptus floating in the air, in the form of what appeared to be a young boy. I guess it is like the legends say. There really must be those that watch over Liyue, even if they cannot be seen. Privately, Ganyu and I get on like a house on fire. <laughs> but as you know, she's the secretary to the Liu Qixing, and I'm not exactly in their good books right now. <laughs> Doesn't bother me, but I wouldn't want to put Ganyu in a difficult position. So just keep what I said between us, yeah? She's got a great personality, that one. The guys in the crew love that rock and roll of hers. Me? Oh, we have common ground. Just... Not when it comes to taste and music. Yao Yao always comes on board to play when we're in the harbor. Trouble is, when it's time for her to go, she gives you the puppy eyes, and <laughs> no one has the heart to send her away. Means we're always cutting it quite close by the time we manage to set sail. Kazuha? <laughs> that scallywag actually blocked a strike from the Raiden Shogun outside Tenchukaku. <laughs> Easier said than done. After the battle, he came to the Crux fleet, said he'd voyage with us a little while longer. I was more than happy to oblige. If the day comes when he decides to set off again by himself on the next stage of his journey, I'll send him off with a drink. <laughs> you want to know why I help the common folk? Why not? Everyone has their low points in life. I don't really do anything other than help steer those who are truly lost towards a brighter future. I've been through some hard times. When I was a child, we had little money, so nothing to eat, and lived for years by stealing fruit off of people's trees. Even after I got my own ship, I was cast out by pompous merchants. But me telling you such stories is merely for your amusement. I have no intention of making you live through it, too. A prime example. It is an honor to have you aboard. I need to keep up if I'm to keep the respect of my crew.